Please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. All right, so I'm inside one of my other ad accounts that I'd be using because I would need to set up Facebook Pixel over here first because we'll be simply creating a campaign, right? We'll be simply creating a campaign uh, of conversions, right? And I'm going to click on conversions. And uh, if you're doing it for the first time, it may probably ask you to install your Facebook Pixel. So how can we install our Facebook Pixel? So for doing that, you would need to go back your ads manager whatever version your is uh, you're using right now this is the new version for Facebook ads manager if you have the older version don't worry you would find an option where, where, where there's a drop down and there would be an option for Facebook pixel or simply events manager so what you need to do is that you need to click on events manager and you need to open it in a new tab and at the same time you would need to go on your Shopify store and click on preferences now the next thing that you need to do is that you need to connect your Facebook pixel over here right so in order for you to do it you will need to take your Facebook pixel ID and you need to paste it over here if you don't know how to do it you can click on this to learn how to set it up if you still don't understand right so as you can see this is my Facebook pixel and this is my Facebook pixel ID right I'm going to click on copy I'm going to go on Shopify store click on paste I'm going to click on save now what would happen this would automatically connect my Facebook pixel with the with my ad account right my ad account and my Facebook my new website would be connected right this website right let's go back to ads manager We are going to click on create and then we are simply going to create a conversions campaign now you need to follow these exact steps if you want to be successful in e-commerce or if you want to sell any product online so let's click on conversions let's name the campaign smartwatch f9 right Let's click on campaign budget optimization and it would ask you for a budget. So I personally prefer that you keep a budget of $50 a day at a minimum or if not you can also start with $30. Whatever you are doing wherever you are you should average start with $20. We want to make sure we reach at least 10,000 people in a day to get you good conversion. That's what I personally prefer or at least 5,000 people every single day. So I'm going to keep this on a daily budget and I'm going to keep this as 2000 now this could be $20 you can average start with the $20 that's what I personally prefer right now you need to click on continue now you're at the ad set level if for those of you who don't know or don't know about Facebook marketing let me give you a small overview this is the campaign objective this is the cam uh, this is the level for campaign selection this is the level for ad set and this is the level for ad so over here we select the campaigns over here we select different kind of audiences that we would like to target and over here we specifically create our ad so now as you can see that it's asking me for a conversion event so I'm going to click on website and I'm going to name this as targeted USA right I'm giving you an example of USA targeted audience and I'm going to select on website I'm going to click on two options right I'm going to click on conversions right and it's going to ask me for a conversion event and then I'm going to click on let's go down purchase right you need to click on purchase in the uh, in starting if you just set up your pixel it would show you like this is inactive but after a while it would become green and uh, everything would be perfect working perfectly so don't need to worry this is a brand new ad account that i've just set up for you so that it becomes very really easy for you guys right as we go down it would ask us to provide targeting for the audience so what i would do is that i would enter the location of my target audience 
United States. Okay, let me put this as USA. United States, right? Selected the whole United States. And I would like to target people from the age of 22. And I would like to target people till the age of 50. That's what I personally prefer where I get most of my sales. But in the start, when in the start you're doing it, I prefer that you don't do any changes with the, with the age. And in the start you're doing it I prefer that you don't do any changes with the with the age gender male female both languages I would definitely prefer people speaking English right and then comes the targeting so since I'm targeting people who who might like smart watches let's type in the keyword smart watch once I've entered this keyword there's an option for suggestion so you can see Apple watch smart device gadgets mobile accessories gadget geeks and there's so many more that you can add over here but I think these are good enough for me and you can see that I have a big chunk of audience that I can target right now but I don't want to target all of these people I want my audience to be smaller than this so I'm going to click on narrow audience and I'm going to target them by online shopping right so you can see there's a difference and there's another option that I suggest that you use and it is engaged shoppers so these are the two targetings that I personally prefer right engaged shoppers and online shopping and I'm going to click on automatic placements let's me to select from which the ad is supposed to run so I'm just going to select my own uh, this the single page because I've got so many pages that I'm using right now so I'm just going to connect one page over here it doesn't matter which page I'm using you make sure that you use your brand page but uh, I'm just going to use this page as an example and I'm going to name this conversion is add one right and as I come on bottom you can see it's asking me to upload a video or an image of the product the ad copy, the website link, the URL, and every single thing. And paste this in the primary text option where you need to upload the ad copy. Let's do a small breakdown so that you can understand what it's about. Right? This is a fire emoji. You can search with the uh, emojis uh, on the Google and you will find these. Right? waterproof fitness smartwatch right so i haven't used any specific name over here because these are a collection of products we can simply promote all of those smartwatches that we have right these are all smartwatches so you can specifically include their names but you can just pick up a category and name it so my plan is to drive traffic to this specific website and advertise all of these products all together or I could simply advertise each one of them separately right so here's the product name to catch some attention some of its, its features and key points and then obviously a link to buy these uh, a link to buy the product right so I'm going to just copy the link of a specific product right So I've taken F W four, taken F nine. I'll paste its link over here. You can also use a link shortener over here. I'm going to paste this over here and select all to action. Let's shop now. This looks good. Here's a preview of the ad copy and there's another headline that you can add over here. You can add works with both Android and iOS 
devices. Looks good. You can even include an emoji if you like. Now as you can see the headline is updated over here or you can even include free shipping over here if you want like to exclude it from here. Let me mention this in the document as well. And now the only thing that we need to do right now is upload the video that we'll be using. So this would be the video that we just downloaded. So now let's just simply upload this video that we've downloaded. Alright, the video has been uploaded over here, right? You can use a link shortener to shorten this link over here. Let's play this video. Right? So, before I go ahead and publish this video because it's look, it looks good, let me show you a few things that you can do over here, right? I'm going to edit this video. And I need to... Right? So before I go ahead and publish this video because it's look it looks good, let me show you a few things that you can do over here. Right? I'm going to edit this video and I need to make sure that it's in the correct size. As you can see that over here it has this thumbnail is a uh, and as you can see over here that this has a watermark because it belongs to someone else and they've made sure they've watermarked it and if anyone else is using it they would know right so I prefer that you start with crop you can either select any of these options as per your requirement or go on automatic and select one size So let's crop this up a little bit. Looks perfect. Let's click on apply. It would take a few seconds for the video to get processed and edited. Let's wait or click on save. video has now been edited but now I need to change its thumbnail so that it looks better I could click on trim as well and reduce its size as per my need but I think this video looks perfect so I won't be cropping it or tripping, uh, trimming it now I've cropped it I'm just going to click on thumbnail I'm going to click on custom I can either select any of these but I can just click on upload but if you remember we downloaded some images as well previously so I can use any of these images that I want so I can go ahead and use this image using this image I'm going to click on continue I'm going to click on save all right so here's the preview it certainly looks better than before Let's publish this and request for a manual review.
and I'm pretty much sure that this would be approved.